Hey guys, what's happening? So, I messed with this board for a couple of days. Um, it's a MakerBase uh, MKS Monster 8 version 2. And so far, I've actually had pretty good luck with it. Um, it's not perfect. I mean, it's not as good as an octopus. Uh, a Big Tree Tech Octopus. Um, but they're basically the same board. Um, yeah, it has CAN bus, NeoPixel, eight separate drivers. USB, all the stuff, all the bells and whistles, pretty much. Um, you know, multiple fan inputs. I'm not going to go through all the specs. You can hook up the old LCD. Um, but yeah, I got a really good deal on it. That's why I got it. It's $27 on Amazon. Uh, Black Friday deal. So, um, my only gripe with it so far is... Well, it's not even a gripe, actually. It's just... Um, the the big so if you wanted to actually have like a 24 volts for your board and uh you wanted to have a different voltage for your steppers that's where big tree tech has a separate input for for stepper voltage so if you all, i wanted to drive these at 36 volts um you know then you can actually have your board 24 volts or have a different voltage for your steppers so there's, so there's a separate input for the uh you know drivers these are uh tmc uh 2240s Pretty new. Um, they run SPI. Got them working. I mean, I've got this to work with the the 2209s, and I even tried a 2208, so it all works. Um, I didn't try a central tunneling yet, but that's what that's for, the extra pin. Um, just because this printer I'm, I'm putting it in um, doesn't actually... Uh, I purposely, because the, the, sp the speeds I'm trying to run the printer at, um, having central tunneling would, would create issues with false positives. So here's a printer I'm putting this in. This is my Orca Supercube uh, concept printer. Um, it's going to be an ultra high speed printer. That's why the uh, extra frame. Um, so I need to find a way to fit it in the box down below here into this box. So I'm currently running a, a Pico in this one, but I wanted to do uh, quad bed leveling. So uh, I need extra, I want to do actually four motors to, to tram the Z. So right now I'm just tramming it with two motors. But I want to do four motors. Um, so I uh, designed a uh, mount for this. Um, so I take the Pico out. That's a buck converter right there. It powers the Raspberry Pi. Obviously this is running Clipper. Alright, so... Um, all right, so here is I created some mounts for this thing. Um, put this All right, here it is. So it's just a two-piece design, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you know, it just this uh, runs a forty twenty blower fan, and the air will blow past these heat sinks. Um, obviously, this first couple will get the most cooling, and it'll get hotter as it goes down here. So um, one of the benefits too is it will actually cool off these MOSFETs too back here so um so you could actually in theory put some heat sinks on this thing um all right so i have uh two mounts just two screw holes that's enough and then three m3 through m3 m3 screws go to the very bottom here through attach it and then m3 screw goes in here into here all right um put this down here so couple of screw mounts just to mount it to the, to the metal backing plate and then I needed a uh, driver cooling solution so I'll put a link down below on Thingiverse where you can get this but it feels like that it just screws onto the hole right there it's gonna cover those up and it runs a 4020 fan like that we'll see the cool thing about the 2240 drivers though is they have a built-in temp sensor so I'll know how hot these things are running. So this is the first drive that I'm aware of, you know, like the lower end driver from, from Trimac, Trinamic, uh, that actually has like an internal thermistor or temp probe. So, so what I'm gonna do eventually is, uh, I'm gonna be moving these four down here to, and I have some, I have some 5160 Pros, the external drivers, high voltage drivers coming in so these two these, so right now this is X and Y and uh, was it like Z1, Z2 um, but I'm moving these down these will all be the, the Z1, 2, 3 and 4 for the uh, quad level tramming 
Um, but yeah, I still got to design the parts for that thing, so. But yeah, it's just a basic, uh, I'm running clipper on this right now. I mean, it was pretty basic, just like any sort of like Victory Deck board. You know, you, uh, little SD card. Compile the firmware on, on, or on uh, clipper. Name it uh, firmware.bin. And then it'll automatically pick it up. Actually, I don't need that in there anymore. I already flashed it. So, you should be able to flash it over USB as well from here. Um, like I did that with the CAN bus. So right now I'm just running the thing off USB. So um, eventually I'm going to be using this CAN bus right here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's it's the USB works fine too. So I don't know. It's hard to say if I'm just going to stick with USB or go to CAN bus. But it runs the STM32 uh, uh, micro CPU. Um, so if you ever, the cool thing about these, they're really easy to flash. So if you ever get the firmware corrupted or the bootloader corrupted, it's not hard with an ST link to get it reflashed. Um, I've actually had to reflash many boards that have, people have corrupted their firmware. Um, I fix 3D printers if you're not aware, if you're new to my channel. <laughs> um, all right, so let me get this mounted and installed, and uh, I'm gonna have to go through and, and program it. So I'm gonna have to take my current settings I have and kind of modify it or merge it into this configuration here. You know, even though I, I know this isn't probably necessary, but I, I do actually like to put all my boards, I put heat sinks on, on the CPU, the processor. Um, usually it's not necessary, but why not? I have the extra uh, heat sink. You know, I'm not gonna really go into the specs of this thing, um, just because it's just like any other 3D printer board, except you have more drivers and more inputs, or excuse me, outputs, inputs, uh, you know, more fan control. So, um, yeah, it's basically just a 3D printer board. All right, there's the initial wiring. I'm not going to get too crazy with it, just because I'm going to change it. I'm going to add those two external drivers somewhere in there. Um, kind of run out of space. So that's by USB buck converter that powers the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, the USB cable here. Um, a lot of my stuff is on the uh, my CAN bus tool head right there, my EBB36. So, all right, fire this thing up, and uh, I gotta check because I've kind of already kind of merged the configurations, so I kind of combined my SR SKR Pico configuration with my MK uh, Monster 8 here. Um, cool thing about this fan is it might get some residual cooling effect. Maybe I could put a some sort of duct down towards it to cool those MOSFETs off right there. I'm only using the heated bed MOSFET though, so. Alright, here, bring out my uh, first cube of this new board. Yeah, my uh, 2240s, two of them on the, uh, the Z axis. One of them actually had issues, so I put some uh, temporary, put some 228s in there. Um, it's actually another reason why I got the MKS this time is that I've actually had a lot of trouble with Big Tree Tech stuff lately. Um, not just my stuff, but I've been replacing a lot of customers, printers, motherboards, failed Big Tree Tech boards. Uh, so kind of like what I've been going on with the boards, like uh, burnout CPUs, you know, the voltage regular might go out, and it takes out the CPU. Um, all right, so I'm doing a calibration cube. But yeah, one of the cool things about um, the 22... 40s, which I made a video about, is that you can see, I can see the temperature of the actual drivers. Um, and that's actually the first low-end uh, drivers I've seen do that yet from Trinac. So, alright. Cool. Having fun. Pretty cool board. Alright.